Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and um, this is going to be, I guess, the first introduction to the Rhinestone macro, but before I even talk about anything the macro can do, I want to uh, show you um, how to do this in case you don't have a Corel version with Visual Basic, or maybe you're an Inkscape, or maybe you're an Illustrator, or some other um, vector design program. Uh, I'm not sure how many have this feature, but I'll show you the, the method behind how we do a uh, rhinestone designing. So first thing I want to do is I'm just going to create a circle. Um, I'm going to make it a little larger just because I guess I mean if I want to do an SS10 I'll do 0.127. Oops, let me lock that real fast. 0.127 and you have this little circle. But um, I really don't want it that small. I want it bigger just so you can see it. Okay, I'm going to take one of those, I'm going to duplicate it, so I have two of them. Well, the main trick for rhinestoning, or when you see a macro, what it does is, is it's doing a blend to path. And uh, not everyone's used it before, but if you go to your Docker palette, you should see a uh, blend right here. And I'm going to open this Docker here. So, what does that actually mean? It means you can take an object and blend it into another object. If the objects are the same, then every object in between will look the same compared to if I had a big circle and went down to a smaller circle. But we're going to stick with the same size. So let's say I have a square. I want to blend those two together. So by default, there's 20 steps. That's how many uh, are gonna, uh, how many stones are going to be in between, or circles, you know, I'll call them circles or stones, in between these two. So if I highlight these two and I apply all of a sudden, I have 20 circles in between. And of course, the more I spread them out, the more uh, space you'll see between them. Okay, so now I could apply this to a path. So I, right here, you'll see path. I'll choose this path, say new path, and I'll choose this guy, and I'll apply. Now the stones are here. Well, here's some options. I want to blend this path along the full path. So I click that. And I apply it again. Now it put all 20 stones around there. Well, as you can see, there's really not, a, I mean, there's not enough stones on there, so we start to increase this number here. I can put 50 and then hit apply. You'll see that. That's like too many. So also besides this up here, you can also see that you can increase and decrease. So if I start decreasing it, you'll see um, it also, and I'll zoom in here so you can see this, and then I'll do that again. So I can go up here, and as I as I add more stones, you'll see uh, they'll get tighter together, versus this way they'll get looser together. So, anyways, that is the the concept of of what we're doing. When you see someone um, uh, write a macro or uh, do something with rhinestones, that's what they're doing. They're applying a blend to a path. So let me show you another example. Let's say I'm gonna take a Let's make a couple circles again. Duplicate that. That'll be my, those are the two I'm going to use for my blend. But I'm going to do a circle here. So you're wondering, like, how do you do a fill? Because I just showed you that's how you do an outline. So I'm going to apply just so I have this here. Well, the way you would make a fill is, I'll, I'll put this here, and I'll duplicate that one, as I'm going to do a contour. Let's do a contour. Um, we'll do to the inside. And we'll do, let's see, this just do oops, 0.2.127. And before I do that, let's see, let's increase that. And let's do a bunch. Let's make that space a little more. Just giving you an example. So that way I don't do too many of them. So I'm going to duplicate this right here. Just to, just to do, doing two different examples. So I'm going to take this one like I did before. I'm going to take this here and apply it to this path. And then I'm going to blend along the full path. And you'll see the same thing again. So I'll add those stones. And that's kind of what you would do if you want to outline something. Well, if I want to do it, look, make, make it look like a fill, what I'll have to do is I'll have to... Um, 
let's see, break the contour, group apart. So now, oops, group all those. Uh, I think I have, I don't, that one's too small, I'm not going to use that one. Just want to make sure I see a couple overlapping, I'm not sure why that was right there. I'm just double checking. Oh, there is one there. Okay. I'm going to figure out why that's happening. But so let's make sure there's one of each one there. Yep, okay. Throw those back. So imagine doing this same thing. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five. Let's duplicate all those. Get rid of this one here. Whoops. Let's duplicate this one here. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to take this one, apply it. To this path, blend along, and then I'll do the same thing. And these stones, these might be too big. I might have to make them smaller. Let's see. So see how they're touching? That means I should have made the contour uh, separate. I mean, sorry, not separate, but further apart. Or I can simply make the stone smaller. I make the stone smaller, then I'll have that space. And I'm just like I said, I'm showing you the concept. I'm not doing like real stones and, or anything. I'm not going to cut this. I'm just going to show you how it's done. And and like I said, we'll we'll, we'll uh, do the spacing on the stones. Oops. Blend along the path. Same thing. New path. And all I'm doing is just doing uh, the blend along each of these. Oops, I forgot to do along the whole path again. So as you can see, it's it's quite tedious, but this is why the what the macro ends up doing is it's it's going to automate this task and make it so much faster. And let's see. So as you can see, there's some issues here. This one, we don't have enough stones. So what you can do is increase it. Let's just jump to 50. And then this one, let's do um, let's do 40. I'm just taking a guess. I mean, I said that you can make it tighter. I can say, hey, that might be be better at 45. Or might be too close. Let's, let's do that one. Let's do 40. Let's do this. Like I said, I'm just taking a guess here. 35. Thirty. And those look so if you look, those look kind of close right there. So I'm gonna back that off a little bit. That one looks okay. That one's got too many stones, so that one we have to decrease our count. And that one's got way too many. So let's do five or six. So now we have some that looks like that. Well, the next thing you have to do is it's still part of it. So you need to break the blend. So you'll see um, break blend apart. And you do that to all of them. Break, break blend apart. Break blend apart. Like I said, I'm just showing you guys this. So if you don't want to buy any macro at all, um, you can do this. Like I said, uh, Illustrator might have it. Now I'm actually deleting the, uh, sorry, deleting the paths. So I'm clicking on each path and deleting it. 
And of course, if you want to put one right in the middle, you can put some in the middle. And then um, I'll just fill it in so it's solid. Anyways, that's the concept. I mean, all you're doing, like I said, you, you take two items, you blend them, then you put them on a path, you break the path or break the blend and delete the original path. And that's kind of um, how you can do your own rhinestones manually. Now, of course, that's why we created the rhinestone, uh, the rhinestone macro is to make that, you know, the whole process a little bit faster. So I'll do the same thing. I could have came in here and I could say I want, well, then we can just create a contour to the inside. Whoops. See, that's a big one. That's a big one. This just makes it a small, quick example. And that's for SS6. So if I want to do SS10s, I could change this and do SS10s. Gives you more, or even SS16. It just gives us a little bit more. Um, space in between. You can take that, apply the stones, take that, clear the path, and see, so it it's the same thing, it's just much faster. You did the same thing. The concept is make, in circ uh, make a contour inside, apply circles to them, uh, sorry, a path, um, blend it uh, along that path, and that's about it. And of course you can go in here and check for overlapping stones and we have options like that but I just want to get make this kind of like the first video before we even use any of these features just to show you without a macro you can still do it hope that helps